Hello. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Di hola. Di vamos a cocinar mi bossups. What? Anyway, guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Alexis, aka Mommy Lex. Um, but that is not the point of today's video, you guys. I'm going to be me. Today is a Monday and you already know I'm coming back with another cooking video Mondays are my lazy dinners um, Because I'm still catching up on laundry from the weekend the cleaning from the weekend my kitchen is actually a disaster right now You guys just can't see it But I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys how I make my lazy meatball subs They are so delicious and easy to make um, and I'm specifically making this video for one of my um, childhood best friends, Amanda. I had The last time I had made these and posted them on my Instagram, she was like, I want to see how you make these. And I'm like, girl, it's literally so easy. So Amanda, if you're watching this, this video is specifically for you, babe. But yeah, guys, if you want to know how I make my Lazy Me Blossoms and they're just chef's kiss delicious, please continue to watch this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! okay so for those who don't know i am an heb4 okay i get all of my stuff from heb everything heb rents so these are the home style meatballs that i get and usually you can cook them in the microwave which i usually do when i'm like okay we need to hurry up and just cook dinner i don't have time i need to clean do whatever um i usually cook them in the microwave and they taste just as delicious but today i'm cooking them in the oven because matthew is currently washing the cars right now and i'm about to clean the kitchen so i'm not in a super rush but i just don't want to cook something that is super time consuming and yeah so we're gonna put it in the oven at 375 meatballs are cooking um this is the marinara sauce we use it is pasta sauce even though it's marinara sauce i love this one the hub brand one because it has chunks of tomato sauce in here so i'm actually gonna turn on the um stove top and let this heat up a little bit just so that the pasta is kind of warm and cooked when i put it on the meatballs um but i'm going to add this and then i'm going to add italian seasoning so good So I do leave the stove on low because the to, um, the marinara sauce, I notice when it starts to get too, too hot, it starts popping and going everywhere. So try to keep your eye on the stove because this is going to pop and go all over your stove top. And if you're a lazy cleaner, don't like to clean like me, then you don't have to do with that. And so yeah, I'm going to let this warm up first and then I'm going to add Italian seasoning. Okay, guys, so the oven is done. Gonna turn that off. I ended up adding a second um, container of marinara sauce because we are gonna need lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer in just a sec. Look at how delicious. You can see they do produce some um, oil and grease. Okay, you guys, as you can see, it's starting to pop, like I said. So it's pretty much done. It's warm. I still have the stove at two. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some Italian seasoning. I 
hate that it comes out like this. this red at H-E-B. I can never find it, but this is just the wheat subbread. So this is what we use. I'm gonna toast up the bread right here. How many subs do you want, baby? Uh, one for right now, baby. Okay, you want salad? Okay, we're eating dinner. Pepe has her strawberries. On the scale from 1 to 10, how much do you love the meatball subs? Um, like an 11? Like an 11? Get us mas? Oh, good job, baby. I'll get you more, okay? Did someone ask for a refill? You're welcome. bomb.com.org.net mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a wrap guys until next time say bye bb